Welcome to Backstage Pass. In New Zealand, we like to share sheep, but uh, seeing as we're close to Paris, I've started the routine. And I'm having a Give us a look at the back there, Gates. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Fongsto. I think you've got a bit of work to go there, mate. She'll be right. Hello, everybody. What you see, we have here uh, attached to the back of the bike a uh, camera. Um, we can use it, we can turn it on during the race and then it takes some footage um, of how yeah, we race. Um, and then afterwards we can use it uh, uh, yeah, for television or whatever. Uh, so yeah, Jonesy asked me already to do it two weeks ago or one week ago. Um, and I stuffed up, I forgot to turn it on. Uh, so hopefully today I won't forget it. Good. Luke, uh, how's the media service been after yesterday, mate? Well, I've been a lot of offers from um, next fights, next bouts. Um, so it's going to be like a Perth showdown. Yep. Um, Danny Green versus Luke Durbridge. Um, so, yeah. You, you got the chin for boxing. You can take some hits. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I might have the chin, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know Swayno about that. Teaches some moves. Yeah, you might hey, be. Speaking of Swayno, yeah, you might be hey, doing Swayno. Want to go into mixed martial arts or boxing or something at the end of the year? Terrible? Yeah. No. Well, he should go into something where he can learn how to actually move his body in a way that. Were you disappointed with his decadive of actually pushing someone over? That was more of a little tap. Yeah, what was I was quite disappointed actually because I heard all this hype like what? he'd smash the guy under the ground. Say Durbo's the guy, yes, so what should have he done? Well, I'll show you what he did do. Is that... <laughs> like yeah. this, you know? I'm not going to try and <laughs> shove him because we have a big bike race today, but. Yeah. Disappointing. Very disappointed. This is when they read the numbers out of the, the guys in the break. Got our fingers crossed. No, no, we passed our numbers. Have we? It's over. over. Cause you woke up in the morning with initiative to move, so I make it harder. About it, so many people do be cool and look smarter. And you shouldn't even care about those noses in the air. So I've had a few people uh, chime in on Facebook asking about the, the car numbers, the car orders in the in the convoy. So what happens is it's basically uh, it works off the GC. So your best placed guy on GC issues your car order. If you, you've got the best guy on GC, you're in car one, second on GC, car two, and so on. Um, so in this tour, we've uh, we've had a bit of a ding dong battle going on between uh, Garmin, Cannondale, and us for the last car place. And uh, every day, it's been swapping between us with our best guys on GC, which have about 10 or 15 minutes between them. So yeah, today we're back in uh, car number 22. And there's two sets of cars. There's two sets of cars. So car one is in the first set of convoys, and then it's the same order in the second set. So, so really, we're 44. You, well, we're 44, and then if you add in commissaires, medical cars, VIP cars, we're actually about car 57. So yeah, a lot of people might be thinking, okay, we're last team car in the convoy. It must be, uh, yeah, we must be the worst team in the race. But it's it's not that. It's 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 based on uh, on GC position, and as we don't come here with a GC guy, we come here with stage ambitions. Um, yeah, the guys on the on, on the hard mountain stage, it's all about you know surviving and conserving as much energy as possible so we can attack uh, the stages that suit us.
be a swap, mate. Okay. No more filthy climbs left. Oh, it might not be any filthy climbs left. There might still be a couple filthy days left. No, 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 you'd be sweet. No, no, don't give me that, Jonesy. There's that, Swano. God, that one's over. That's it, all the filthy climbs are done, mate. Well, I still don't count out tomorrow. No. Yeah. Everyone wants to relax. Tomorrow's going to be just another. Well, sweet if Whitey day. says in the meeting it's a, it's a day off, you know you're in for exactly. A day, you know it, Dan. You know it. <laughs> Debs. I tired. Hey. I tired. Oh, so, all the uh, rude climbs are out now. <laughs> Well, if, if, if the tour has been, if it's anything to go off, I think tomorrow's going to be just as filthy. It's <laughs> a common thread I'm finding among the boys. <laughs> but I got through, so good feeling. <laughs> How's that, Alba? Yeah, it was, it was a tough day again. Happy the mountains are over. Yeah, now the way to Paris is all flat, so it's all right. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on stage 18 backstage pass. Uh, the good news is that's the end of the mountains for us. Uh, as you can see, but the boys don't really appreciate when people who sit in the car all day say it's easy. But uh, we've got two solid days coming up and uh, some, some important goals. It's, uh, it's not a flat, flat day tomorrow. There's a category four climb in the final. Uh, so it's a good lumpy sprint. And uh, I don't think we'll see a complete good come to the line tomorrow. So we've got Alba, we've got the NSK. We've got some options for tomorrow. But then also the boys, some of the time trial boys were already thinking about Saturday where I think we're in for a real shot of a great result.